unboxing of a Corsair H100i. This is a, a new addition to their Hydro series and a, basically a new whole entire route on how they're going about uh, implementing their Hydro series coolers. And the I is the really the big difference here. And the I it basically represents that you can use a Corsair Link software to better help customize and control your fan. Fan speeds, uh, I believe you can do the pump speed. It should be able to do that also, but overall temperature is going to be better reading on your temperatures. Uh, you know, if you want to run it more more efficiently, quieter, it'll, let you, it'll allow you to be able to control that. This is the first time we've actually seen this with a power supply. You can connect it directly into your motherboard and control it with the software just to allow you to, to customize things a little bit more. And they've also uh, did a few de design tweaks that I'm a huge fan of, uh, especially if uh, you're familiar with some of the older uh, Corsair water coolers. That being said, let's jump into it. This is our Hydro Series cooler, which is all of the coolers they have. They do have some newer ones that are the H110, which is just a little bit bigger. This is a dual 120 millimeter radiator, a little bit longer, and uh, it, it should be able to fit any chipset. Uh, I mean, they have adapters in here for just about any, any chipset on the in, in, Intel or AMD side that you can actually think of. And if we just look at the boxing, their Corsair uh, i-series, Basically, their H H. Basically, anything with an I in it is going with this red design that you see here. And that being said, let's actually just jump right in and see what's actually in the box. I have actually ran a Corsair H100 for some time now, about since it came out, and it was a great water cooler. It really was. I really did enjoy it. I still use it to this day, and I haven't had any issues. And it provides much better cooling than air. Uh, especially in the terms of it's a lot quieter. It's not going to emit, you know, push hot air into your case like some of the air ones will. And it produces a lot better results, and especially than the the regular standard 120 millimeter uh, pre-filled already water cooler. This allows you to water water cool your CPU on a cheaper scale than actually doing a custom water loop. And it also is much easier. I mean, you could install this in probably a minute. I mean, it's really easy to install. You'll see once we get in here, uh, you got basically a stop. Don't return this to the store you bought it at, call Corsair, let them help you out first. And then product solutions guide, warranty against defects, general things like that. And then you just have your manual right here. Let's see what we got here. It's just gonna go through installation guides. Basically how to install it, how to connect it to your motherboard. Nothing too fancy there. It's really simple to install. And first thing we'll take a look at is the fans. They have implemented a, a new fan design. Uh, you get their, uh, I believe it's uh, SP120L. I believe these are the static pressure kind of optimized fans, but these are a huge improvement over the fans that used to come with the Corsair H100. Those fans were, were extremely poor if you ask me they were corsair's lower end fans so they went ahead and actually bumped up and gave you some nicer fans these are nicer fans i've read many reviews on this and they get they get much better uh, reviews when being just being able to push more air quietly through the actual radiator and you get two of those which you'll need so you could do a push or a pull uh, you wouldn't be able to do a push and pull unless you uh, bought some more fans but there's just a look at them there they're really nice fans especially compared to the previous ones you used to get. And then what do we got here? All right, this is actually going to be, you're gonna connect one end of this actually into the pump on the, here on the radiator, and then you're gonna connect the fans into it, and then you're gonna connect this actually into a USB header on your motherboard. And that's how it's gonna be able to control it. And you have every screw you're going to need to mount just about any current socket on AMD or Intel out there. And then you have the brackets, which are your traditional brackets for AMD or Intel. Very, very easy to install uh, from what I've seen, and I have no no issues that it will be. The old one actually wasn't too bad, but some of the older, uh, the H60 series were horrible to install. I mean, you needed like six arms to get in there and orient things all right so let's actually pull this out here now a few, few things that they've actually improved on here is that they actually went with a different tubing i do believe that this is a thicker tubing so you are going to be able to push a little bit more uh fluid through this that's going to provide a little that's going to provide some better performance and cooling wise 
see the actual radiator there. I'm not sure if they've actually increased the fin density here, but it does look like it compared to what my uh, H100 looks like. I'll have to get that out and actually check, but it actually looks like it's a little bit denser than what it was. And you just have your reservoir up here at the top and your tubing connected. And that's going back here. There is one thing to notice is that it does swivel and pivot, so there's plenty of options. You're not going to kink this in any way. You can basically maneuver it around any way you want, and you're going to be good to go. And it swivels around very nicely. And then you just got your, you do have to power this, and then you also have a fan header, your CPU fan header to plug into your motherboard. And then you just have the water block here with already pre-applied. This is a higher quality uh, pre-applied paste, so you can go ahead and use that, no problem. And if we just look at the head right here of the pump, uh, I believe it does not glow or uh, emit some type of light like that, like the previous one did. But one thing I want to notice, uh, point out here is uh, how you actually install the actual plate on top of this. Previously, you just kind of had to hold it in there and uh, just pray that you got it on right and got the screws in correctly. But now what you actually do is you just take this and it's actually magnetic. There's these little magnets. Let's see if we can get them in there. Right there, don't focus on my face, focus on this. There we go, right there you can see. And this just goes on just like that. Just magnetizes and goes on like that. This makes it extremely easy to install, especially if you're doing this a one man installation process. It's gonna be much easier than, uh, than previously done. And I believe this is implemented on all their i-series. Uh, from, from what I've seen, you just throw this on and maybe, there you go. And it just magnetizes down. See, it's not gonna fall off. No issues. You can just throw it right on your case from there. That's some of the big improvements. I haven't seen a lot of performance numbers yet, but I am gonna run some uh, against probably the Corsair uh, H100, which I, I have one in, on hand, so might as well run some numbers off of it. Curious to see what temperatures get, but that's real dependent on what CPU you're running and what case it's in. There's a whole lot of factors there. What fans you're using, if you're not using the stock fans. Um, but I, I, this should produce similar uh, numbers to the Corsair H100. Probably a little bit better because it does have a little thicker tubing. A little bit better tubing, and it's just going to have a little bit better control with the software you can implement to actually go in and, and control things. So I do expect better numbers cooling-wise, and the H100 cooled great, especially for a for a $100 pre-filled uh, liquid-cooled radiator. That's basically what you're getting there. You're an all-in-one system, which you'd pay much more for if you did it by yourself and did a custom loop. That's something to, uh, to keep in mind. It's gonna get you the best bang for your buck for the money. That being said, this has been my unboxing of the Corsair H100i. This is a new Hydro Series water cooler from Corsair. If you'd like to see more unboxing reviews or other tech news, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.